The Russian attack on Ukraine has become a key issue in the state's high-profile Senate race. Republican Congressman Ted Budd formally jumped in today and answered our questions about former President Trump praising Putin. Capitol reporter Michael Hyland live in Raleigh for us tonight. Michael, uh, Ted Budd has Trump's endorsement and was in the room as Trump called Putin pretty smart. Yeah, I had a chance to ask Congressman Bud about that right after he filed the paperwork here with the Board of Elections to get on the ballot, as well as whether he'll get on the debate stage with the other candidates in the race. Republican Congressman Ted Budd made it official Monday as he seeks his party's nomination for North Carolina's open U.S. Senate seat. We got to have somebody that understands North Carolina and also understands the needs of North Carolina. As Russia's attack on Ukraine goes on, Bud says the U.S. needs to continue helping Ukraine, stopping short of sending in troops. Bud has the backing of former President Donald Trump. He was at an event at Mar-a-Lago last week as the invasion began, where Trump called Putin pretty smart. Did you agree with that? Did you think that was appropriate? We have to look at it in two ways. One of his good and bad, or I would say Putin is evil, but that doesn't mean he's not smart. Uh, he's a very intelligent actor, although I would say he's been quite erratic in this approach to the Ukraine. It was very predictable what he would do, but at the same time, Putin is evil. He's been He's an international thug, but he is intelligent, so we have to uh, treat him as such. Intelligent person doesn't do these stupid, evil things. Former Governor Pat McCrory is among the candidates running against Bud in the Republican primary. It's unfathomable that, uh, that a sitting member of Congress who wants to be a U.S. senator would call Putin intelligent while bombs are being dropped on women and children. This weekend, Bud declined to participate in a debate with McCrory and other leading Republican candidates, Mark Walker and Marjorie Eastman. Are you going to commit to hold a debate with the other Republican candidates? I've always said, and I've been very consistent for months now, that we're going to wait till the filing period is closed and then we'll have that discussion. So not for sure? Well, we'll have the discussion, but we're going to have it after this Friday when the filing period is closed. It's still not certain that the primary is going to happen on May 17th. Republicans have filed an appeal with the U.S. Supreme Court related to the gerrymandering case and the state's congressional districts. But it's not clear what the court is going to do in that case and if that will have any impact on the primary happening on the 17th of May. Live in Raleigh, Michael Highland, CBS 17 News. All right, Michael, thank you. Well, North Carolina saw new COVID-19 cases, saw the fewest amount of COVID-19 cases in